Welcome everyone. This is the Jenkins User Experience Special Interest Group. Let's look at the agenda for today. So proposed topics included a request from Chris Kilding to talk about multi-branch experiences. Since Chris is not here, I would defer this until later unless someone else has topics they'd like to cover on it. And then the, on, the other topic I had was pipeline visualization plugin demo that was done at Contributor Summit and talking further about it. Uh, are, there, are there other topics you'd like to add to this discussion today? I would have one, I wanted to add something that, that came of uh, present day. The ability, which is not possible today, to have multiple pipelines defined for a single, let's say, multi branch job. Okay, okay, so single multi branch job. Interesting. Okay, so yes. single multi branch job, not. Yes, for, for a multi branch job. You can remove single because I find it confusing in my thing. Okay, got it. All right, and um, I just paged myself out of the place. Sorry, just a minute. Okay, all right, so, the, so topic added, great. Any other topics we need to add before we start working through the agenda? Okay, great. All right, so just a reminder then, We've got this pipeline visualization plugin demo that was done at the Contributor Summit by Tim Jacome. Um, I, I propose we not go through it again. Just feel free to click that link. It will take you right into the video at the exact time where Tim's demo starts. You can watch it and be amazed at. So what it does, if I understand correctly, is it extracted a portion of Blue Ocean into a separate plugin that does not require Blue Ocean. Did I understand that correctly? Yeah. That Blue Ocean is not required and and yet it's, it works. And it shows a visual, it shows the same visual view of the pipeline as I'm accustomed to seeing when I look at the pipeline with Blue Ocean. Right, that's my understanding as well. That is correct. I'm adding the link in the document to the... Oh. Um, prototype plugin. Oh, good, right, okay. And and you had said earlier that the prototype plugin hosting request has been submitted. I'm so, not really sure what is, um, what is the prototype plugin hosting request? Is it something about having the plugin uh, published on plugins.jenkins.io, is that correct? Right, so it adds it to the update center makes it makes it available to others once it's released. Okay. I think it's too early. My understanding of the uh, Felix and then uh, uh, Timja explanation are that it's a bit early. It's a kind of proof of concept. Oh, oh so okay. So releasing the plugin as it might have some downsides. I, but... I think he, sorry, I think Tim, Tim wanted it to add it to the, I think he requested to add it to the Jenkins CI org in GitHub. I don't know if he necessarily wanted to publish yet. Right. I do not know. Well, and and adding a, the plugin hosting request does not require that he release anything. And if he hasn't released it, then it won't be visible to Update Center. Exactly. Okay. So, good. All right. Now, I I think I w I don't want to 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 speak for any on behalf of anybody else, but I think he also wants to have a very minimal scope. And really, and put out a release candidate as soon as possible for an alpha. Ah, okay, good. So, so intentionally scope limited. See, and it should be. I would try to confirm this. Great, release yeah. soon, and accept that it is it is a proof of concept. See, or release an alpha, or whatever you want to call it, but please confirm this with him. Right. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Okay, anything else on that topic before we go to the next? Okay, then Damien, multiple pipelines defined for a multi-branch job. Tell, tell us more. So it's a feature that was seen as, um, it's an edge case for many years in Jenkins. 
The goal is uh, when you define a multi-branch pipeline, your use case is, hey, hello Jenkins, can you watch this repository and do your stuff? Meaning watch for branches, pull requests if you have, uh, if it's recognized as a compliant uh, implementation like GitHub, for instance. And you have to specify one field or one setup on config as code, which is um, the location of the Jenkins file, which describes the pipeline associated to that multi-branch job. Um, if I compare that process to GitHub Actions, um, in GitHub Actions, you also have a repository and you have a, also a convention, like we say it's a Jenkins file by default on the root of the repo. In GitHub Action, you have a .github slash workflows directory. And each YAML file found inside that directory are mapped to what they call a workflow, which is a pipeline in Jenkins concept. This is really useful. And we have a bunch of usages even inside our own repository where you have different pipelines on the same repo. So they follow the life cycle of the code, but they do different things. The, the main example I have in mind is one main workflow. So one main pipeline, which goal is for instance, to lint an M chart and to deploy it to production. And that pipeline might have subtilities like, okay, if it's a pull request, then you don't deploy to production, you only lint and you, you output a diff or whatever. So this is what we can do in Jenkins. And you have a second workflow, which is, hey, every day at one o'clock in the night, during the night, let's run that process that check for the new version of a dependency and if there is a new version, then open a pull request with the updated version of that dependency. These are two separated process. And the idea of having one workflow file for each make it easier to maintain and to think and understand which task is doing what. We can technically have one big Jenkins file doing the two of uh, the, the two tasks with a bunch of uh, conditionals. For instance, when the trigger is a cron, then you run the update dependency stuff and open the pull request. And when the, uh, whatever the trigger is a uh, pushed code or manually launched by a human, then you do other action. So technically it's not a blocker. However, in terms of user experience, it's really hard because you start to have a Jenkins file, which is already a tedious syntax when you come from YAML world, when you want descriptive and everything is done to say, if you want something complex, you need to move to scripted imperative. If you come to this from descriptive, one of the way to avoid the tedious maintenance or the imperative programming is to have simple and tiny files. Each file is only doing one task, but it does it well. So here, that's a request I've seen already, but was considered as an edge case. And I have no idea. I'm sure that topic has been blocked most of the time. But this could be really an interesting value. Why now? Because with the rise of GitHub Actions and the use case that it started to use, I tend to see this use case done by us as a community on our own repository on GitHub Actions which means there is a user needs that could be addressed. I have no idea of the complexity of the task on Jenkins, and I'm sure this can be pretty uh, tedious to implement, but the goal is to bring that subject up to see what are people thinking about that, what could be the, the solutions, etc. But I, I thought that this is really user experience thing and I wanted to have feedbacks and proposal on that. Yeah, <clears throat> I personally would agree. I think it would be a great improvement. I've also used GitHub Actions and having the ability, as Damien described, to have two different files definitely improves user experience since it clarifies what which what is doing which file, right? What, what is being done in which file? So it you know defines two, the two separate workflows. You can focus on one or the other. So yeah, I, I agree, and I think it's is definitely an, a user experience uh, thing, right? So yeah, hundred percent agree on that.
I'm thinking of an alternative which can be done today also. If you are lucky enough to have a GCASC or a, G, a job DSL set up on your Jenkins controller, then it means that you can define two multi-branch jobs that point to the same repository with two different uh, paths for the Jenkins files. However, it means that the life cycle of defining these files is tied to the job DSL seeder or to the GCASC workflow. And in that case, the user experience would mean moving that life cycle to the pipeline itself, meaning Jenkins watch discovered there are two Jenkins files or have a setup that say two Jenkins file. So you just have to uh, watch again the repository to uh, scan the repo once again. And this could, for instance, both seed only the second multi-branch. Because it's not an issue to have different multi-branch jobs given the way Jenkins print things, output things on the UI, but having something that make it, makes it easy to end user in particular in an environment where the admin is not the developer. So you can watch your pipeline, change it, but you need to request the administrator to update the Jenkins instance to have your second pipeline, eventually restarting the instance, which is catastrophic in terms of user experience. The goal will be what will be the path for an easy way to have this for someone with the correct rights only inside the repository. And, and I think I understand the the concept you're you're sharing there because I've I've used exactly this technique in the past to construct multiple in case, in my case I was constructing multiple multi branch jobs that pointed at the same repository because I wanted to test different different branch provider implementations but it's the same technique right it is it is perfectly valid to have the problem is then we have we have scattered things into multiple multi-branch folders that might better have been clearer to the user if they were in a single folder. Yeah, I, I see your point. How do, how do you envision, is this something you would take to, to pipeline authoring SIG or to some, uh, what, what do you see as your next steps, Damien? I don't talk that much, and I need um, inputs on that because I'm not really sure about the process for such requests. Um, it, it makes sense to go to the pipeline SIG to see what will be the limit and how it could be understood. They might have already solutions in mind or started stuff. There might be an history on that. So that could be a, a, a good next step. Yeah. I think the output of putting that subject to the pipeline SIG will be, is it something that could be built within the pipeline concept itself? Or is it something that should rely on job DSL and GCASC and another, uh, let's say, um, smart setup that could be automated outside the pipeline itself? And we will keep one pipeline, meaning one multi-branch with one given file but having a system that make it easy for the user to have multiple. Mm. And then playing with the visualization to maybe aggregate these views. Why not? But the goal is to know the limitation and the history of that uh, request. Okay. Yeah, so I was, I was assuming that some my simple minded user experience assumption was if the path to the Jenkins file were declared as an asterisk inside a directory, would that then from the user experience be okay that's enough it says now create one job for every file in that directory. And, but, but I don't know if that makes any sense, because aren't there more cases where they may say I need different permissions for this or I need different different configuration. I want a different pipeline library loaded by implicitly for this thing. It's interesting that if the, the name of the job, yeah, you can create the job by default. Yeah, we have to check the fine tuned airbag settings, but yeah, that could be a good idea. 
not sure if no the, I'm not sure if the view could help on that because we already have three tabs on the multi branch job. You have the, the branches, the pull request, eventually the tags if you have set up your job specifically with this. So having I don't know um, a tab that lists the different pipeline that exists, maybe. Not sure. I haven't talked that yet. That's that also a good point since we can create jobs within the folder of the multi-branch. That could be a way with a correct naming to support this and putting the asterisk. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a good, really good idea. Okay. Anything else on the multiple pipelines defined for a multi-branch job, Damien? No, that's all. Okay. Any other topics that we should have, should discuss today? Looks good. Okay. I propose we call an end for today's session. Uh, we'll meet again in two weeks, right? See you then. See you then. Bye. Bye-bye.